Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. All right, so in the last episode, we ended with, you guessed it, again, yet another Royal Rumble. This time with the Weaver and its many, many children that we exploded. Um, and apparently there's a ruby on the couch that we didn't uh, notice. So in between episodes, I actually went into town and I have basically sold, um, sold all the crap that I felt like we didn't need. I turned all our ingredients into um, potions whenever we could. And I also read and sold all our extraneous books. I think I did our I, I did my very best to kind of like um, reduce the load that I had on uh, Ferrosi and the others in terms of their inventory. But anyways, let's go ahead and now. Oh fuck yeah, empty potion bottles. Magister Pavliona. Before you stands the ghost of an older woman, clad in flowing magister's robes. She peers around the room as if looking for something lost. On seeing you. She brightens and extends an ethereal hand. Well, I don't know if I want to interact with a Magister, even if they are a ghost. Magister Pavlonia, charmed to meet you, I'm sure. Reach out to shake her outstretched hand or hold back. You know what, let's be courteous. Your hand passes right through hers. She shrieks, horror animating her face. Oh, my hand! My, my fingers! Kindly inform her that she's in fact deceased. Tell her to calm down. Everything will be all right. Let's just get her to calm down. All right. I am dead. Dead in a spider's lair. Could be worse. I keep forgetting things somehow. It's hard to hold all the threads together when you've fallen apart yourself. Wait. The spider. It was the spider. She chewed me. Bits of me. Slowly. I keep looking. But I can't find myself. Give her the severed hand you found. Is this hers? Ask her what she was doing here in the first place. Let's just give her the severed hand and see what she says. Is that... It is my hand. Well, we can eat it for you. She stretches out her ghostly arm and wriggles ethereal fingers into the slightly chewed and more than a little decomposed hand. Uh-uh. The threads are coming back together now. You, sorcerer. You helped me. I should help you. Really? Stay away from the black pits. Far away. There are black ring there. Prisoners. And if my colleagues catch a sniff of your sorcery there, they're liable to treat you just the same. That was the most unhelpful shit in the history of unhelpful shit. Waving her ghostly hand at you, Pavlonia disappears beyond visibility to meet her fate. Damn it, I wanted to consume her source. No, she gave me useless information. Oh man, I was gonna reward her. Um. Uh, impertinence. I don't know if that's the right word to be using here, but um, anyways, should we go ahead and consume her body? Disembodied hand. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Although one thing I don't like about this whole system is the fact that every time we change. Our fucking thing, this goes away. It's replaced by that. And then I have to go back and do that again. Drinking ruby wine with Magister Boris in the armory after hours. You remember his deep hazel eyes, how he trembled as he kissed you. You remember all of it, the best night of your life. Well, okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, now back to our glorious Coper helmet, please. And also, can I please have this unlock? There we go. Okay, um, am I healing because I'm standing in blood? I'm assuming I am. That must be it, right? Let's just make sure that it's because of the blood standing. Uh, Losa, can you get out of the way, please? Fabrosi, can you please stand in the blood floor a little bit? Now, because we have Leech, um, we should be healing, but, um, maybe it happens only when we're hurt. Locked? Are you kidding me? Locked? What? Did we just now is not the time loot, like, fun. several million keys off that, uh, dead spider? Or whatever? What the shit, guys? 
What the shit? Oh, wooden shoes, really? What am I gonna do with clogs? Unbelievable. Okay, I lit... I I'm lighting all the torches. Does that help with the whole, um... Door situation? Come on, Fabrosi, get in there, buddy. Light that torch, bitch. Light that torch, you ass maggot. Unbelievable. The hatch is blocked tight by Open it. Straining and grunting. Damn right. Um... I think that this basically leads us right down here. Okay, well, I guess we can go upstairs via this route as well. Maybe that door is not locked. Maybe it's jammed or something. It would make sense considering that, uh, you know, Riker or whatever his face is was keeping a giant spider in there. Maybe he didn't want it to open, uh, learn how to open doors and shit. Read? Nothing. Add to wares. Sheet of paper, we'll take that. And nothing. Painting of a night? Wanna say something, buddy? No? You wanna go, bitch? Is locked tight. Slide open the hatch. hatch at, peering in, you can barely see as your vision is oh, I see. Okay, landscape painting. Do you have anything to say? No, why won't these paintings speak to me? Tell me your secrets. Armor Frost. Losa for you. Painting of a man. You look up to the portrait. It's subject's face staring right back at you. One eyebrow raised, as if lifted by a fish hook. Contentious cur. Thou wouldst dare prance and gallivant about without a summons? Get thee gone, for at the count of a dozen less two, the sentries advance. Uh... Count of a dozen less two, you mean ten? Cur? A dozen less two? Demand to know what kind of talk this is. Waste but your own time with thick-headed queries, thou cow-handed fribble. In the tenth second, the guards descend. Ignore the painting's warning and examine it more closely. You come up empty. Perhaps there is nothing to find. This is what Rivalon has become. It has... A sanctuary for greedy poltroons seeking riches from noble patrons of the visual arts. Actually, yes. Um, especially for Brosi, what with him being a filthy degenerate and all that. The painted man harumphs. Great, good for you. Okay, let's take this plate. Um, apparently the fruits have disappeared. I don't understand. We'll read that, and then we'll add to wares. I think that's a better system. What the hell? This is locked? I got like a million keys from, uh, what's-his-face. And it's still fucking locked? Ah, oh, jeez, how am I supposed to get in there? Okay. I guess we should try to go in through the thing down there. So, over on this side. I don't know if we can open it. But I guess we might as well give it a try. Locked. Unbelievable. Do I have to bash the door down? Oh, I thought that light was something special. Apparently it is not. We'll take that painting from you, thank you very much. Did I miss anything? No, I'm pretty sure I've taken uh, Riker's... Um, well, basically everything. So I don't, under don't understand why it won't fucking... Come on. Okay. Then how about we just bash it down? That sound good to you, Riker? You know what, while we're at it, we should bash down the other door, too. Okay, Losa? Um... Electrical discharge. Boom! Eat shit, door. And then... Let's also get an incarnate. Maybe the uh, big old incarnate can help us out here. Incarnate champion? Hey, buddy. Go ahead. Smash it to, this to pieces. Come on, you got this, buddy. Out a fucking boy. Perfect. Now, now go do the same with the other door before you die. Good. Just one more hit, man. Yeah, baby. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, come, guys. A dog and a cat. If you think the master loves you more than he loves me, then Doc, you're a bigger idiot than you look. Master's the master. Master knows the dog is better than the cat. Master says good dog. Does Master say good cat? No. No, Master does not. See? Good point. The cat gives the dog a long, languid look of carefully disguised contempt. Then she sighs and turns to you. Settle an argument for us. All right, sure. Dog's body here thinks that because the Master is grateful for his 
meaning the dog's mindless devotion, he loves his dog more than he loves his cat. I, on the other hand, know full well that it's the master's admiration for my general bearing, demeanor, and intrinsic greatness what is most indicative of a state of actual love. He near worships me, he does. Master loves his dog. Master thinks his cat is cool. Not the same thing. <laughs> You're a moron. No, I'm not. I'm black brown. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with? Come on, settle the argument. Tell him he's wrong. Mm, you know what? You're asking the wrong person to uh, hear Cottontail. I love dogs. I do not like cats. Um, tell him that the cat is right. The master uh, may be grateful for dog's devotion, but that's not love. News that the dog is right. The master may admire the cat, but admiration is not love. The latter. Told you. Yeah, I ain't buying. Sell me on it. Tell her you know only a little bit about love, but... Um, you know what it is not, and admiration is not love. Tell, her, tell the cat her owner is seduced by her cat's gorgeousness, but seduction is not love. Her owner may one day be seduced anew by yet another more gorgeous creature. Push the point. To be admired is not to be loved. Her owner loves the cat's elegance and beauty because it makes him feel cultured and urbane. But he no more loves the cat than any of his possessions. Um... I guess seduction and gorgeousness. Let's uh, let's uh, I guess um, flatter the cat a little bit. Yeah. Like no, that's ever gonna happen. Hang on. So you think I'm gorgeous, do you? Uh. See, I was right. Oh, thank you. I knew the master loved me more. Else he wouldn't have let me go down to where all the juicy meat bones are. Ask where his horde of limbs might be. You can't see it because it's under a carpet thingy that's nice to sleep on. But a bit of the floor comes up and you go down some steps. You'll smell it when you get there. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I don't know where that's supposed to be, but sure. No salvation. Only sacrifice. Does he sleep around these paintings that constantly talk? Wow, how the fuck do you get any sleep around here? Wait, what'd you find exactly? A diamond. Wow, wow, wee wa. Nice. Teas for troll. We got like a million copies of those. Silver glass. We'll uh, sell that. Pitcher. We'll take that too. Fork. Yep. And a knife. Fantastic. Nothing. Unbelievable. Good sheet of paper. We'll take that. What about you, desk? Uh huh. What exactly did we use to open this up? A chilling amulet. Sure. Rhymed with a scribe? I think I've already read this one before. A sheet of paper and assassination contract. Pact neutralization. Subject Godwoken. The master agrees to your request, Wolf. Should your word be as abiding as your claim, you then you have nothing to fear from the Black Ring. Your task is simple. Eliminate Godwoken, including Lucian's spawn, should the weasel make a squeak. We won't dictate your methods, nor will we reveal our motives. Extermination is your only concern. The Black Ring does not tolerate failure. Payment will be offered immediately upon proof of fulfillment. Okay, sure. I guess we might as well pick this up then. Just to show and um, uh, use like a, as like a show and tell kind of thing. Tell people that we're being hunted down. Which of course gets the uh, ladies in the mood. Um... I don't really want to read this. We'll take it anyways, but I don't really want to read it. Okay, uh, pet basket, chew toy. Where is this thing that you're talking about? The carpet. Is it downstairs, maybe? You did say a horde of dead bodies. Um, I can only imagine that it is actually underneath a carpet somewhere is it supposed to be here oh is that the one that you're talking about damn it we already know about that jeez fine what's in this area here i don't think we've actually explored that it is riker's rest the cellar of riker's rest apparently where i guess he keeps his rats 
Hungry, is he? Tell the rat you'll drop him some food if you get the chance. The rat's tail twists and untwists. His ears cock and uncock. Cheese food. Fruit food. Um, you want cheese and fruit. Well, unfortunately for you, we have, um... Well, basically... Sold all our food. We'll take the medium healing potion, though, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. The rat's tail. Food. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm looking for food. Rivalon fries? Do you want any Rivalon fries? How about some garlic? What about Dot's collar? Sure, we'll take Dot's collar. I don't know why we would, but we're gonna do it anyways. Let's sound this way. Betty! Betty the turtle! Betty, what's your deal? The turtle looks up at you, slowly. It looks down, slowly. It looks back to you, slowly. Lucky in life. Unlucky in love. Console her. Is she in love with someone that doesn't love her back? She lets loose a long sigh. She inhales. She sighs again. Oh, Rory. The rat. He's just over there. Don't blink. Or he'll flip right past. Like a... Like a rat. Um, if you guys get together, you might create some, like, unholy armored, uh, rats that skitter around very slowly. Grace. I'm gruel. I'm too slow to give him smooches. And he's so smoochable. If only I could keep up. I could grow sweet things in his little ears. I could tell him I love him. I could share my beats. I like beats. Uh, offer to talk to the rat for her. Maybe you can butter him up. Tell her this is an odd place to find the turtle. Who's her owner? Uh, let's let's say that we can butter up the rat. Oh. I don't like butter. You could try carrot juice or some kind of. Let her continue. Nectar? The rats like nectar. Maybe cheese juice. Is there such a thing as cheese juice? I say you've never heard of cheese juice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because then, you could cheese juice her up. Her? I thought it was him. She grins at her own joke. It takes a good minute for her mouth to reach a full smile. <laughs> Opposites attract. Wait, that's a real mission? Unbelievable. Alright, that's done. Encountered a strange being called in a... Wait, what? Oh no. Told us that Rory the rat won't slow down long enough for her to profess her love. Well, what if we get this mackerel and this raw slice of meat, mash it together, make a mackerel steak, and then feed it to Rory, um, the rat. And we can apparently go down here too. Well, how about this? How about instead of making Rory slow, how about we make you fast? How about we give you a little bit of haste? Did that help at the all? Turtle looks up at you. Lucky in Who's life your owner? Used to be the ladies. Was there one day and wasn't the next. Like an owl, nice guy. Gives me beets. I like beets. Made the soil. All right. Soil. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good grief. All right, Rory. Um, where are you, buddy? There you are. No time, need food. Um, tell him to slow down. The turtle has something to say to him. Hungry cheeseberry. The rat vacuums up your scent. Its whiskers twitch. Food, food, food. Um, I guess he needs food. Okay. Um. Well, we didn't really bring any food. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a lot on me. Unfortunately, I kind of happened to sell everything that I had, which I'm now kind of regretting. Um, we have fries, though. I mean, you know what? We should probably give uh, Rory a thing of cheese, I'm thinking. Sabeel, why don't you leave down a teleporter pyramid? And 
we are going to go back to Driftwood and maybe pick up some cheese. Hey, Mabel, do you have any cheese? No cheese. Unbelievable. All right. Geraldine, I'm assuming you don't have any cheese. And I don't want any of your um, man milk either, right? Stay with that man milk. Maybe bread? Also, did we ever talk to the um, elf's ghost? The spirit of Wivlia glares at you with all the venom she can muster. Consume. She does not waver, she does not panic. She only stares before vanishing into nothingness. Damn right. Eat shit. Boom shakalaka. Also, we got cheese. I think we're good. I don't think we need to um, go out of our way to find more stuff. Unless maybe we need to. But we'll see. Alright, Fabrosi, let's get ourselves back to the uh, thing here. Sibiel, pick up the teleporter pyramid. Fabrosi? Food. Food. I got food for you, buddy. I got food. I got cheese. I got cheese, man. Cheese, baby. Cheese. What do you need? What do you need? Cheese? You want cheese? Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, well, I think we might be able to lead old the Rory um, down like this. Let's also give you some mashed potatoes. I'm assuming uh, rats just love mashed potatoes. Come on, Rory, what the fuck, dude? Where you at, bitch? Where the fuck you at? Unbelievable. Alright, looks like I um, might need to get some more food. I think we basically need to um, set up a little trail for him next to old... Uh, uh, what's her face? Betty. Bessie. Whatever. Troll face. Turtle love? I don't know if I'm saying any of these uh, things right. I don't know if tomato sauce will count, but we'll take it anyways. And let's also take the ham. Get the jar of honey. Get some eggs. Get a watermelon, because who the fuck doesn't love watermelon? It's the best. Um, well, I mean, durian's better, but still. Watermelon's good. Um, what are some of these baskets? Nothing. Unbelievable. Also got some rotten eggs. Nice. I'm sure the uh, rat will fucking love that shit. Okay. That wasn't super helpful, but um, thank you. I don't know if the garlic's going to be super useful. But we'll take it just in case. Might as well, right? We'll take that. And also this one. And that one. Yeah. Actually, Prudence, let me buy some uh, food from you there. Take that garlic, the mackerel, the herring, the bread, the raw meat. All of it. It's your lucky day, lady. It's your lucky day. Alright, let's go back to the old... Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, thankfully, the um, teleportation thing doesn't really deposit us too far from where we need to go. Alright, well, that was unfortunate. I completely forgot to leave the old uh, teleport and pyramid uh, downstairs, of course. Um, thankfully, though, we have a decent amount of food. Again, I don't know if the uh, tomato sauce is going to um, really count as food, but I guess we might as well give it a try. Come on, get down there. And look, the watermelon is already, like, pre-sliced and all that. Nice. Split these up. Fantastic. Now... Probosi. Let's quick save. Let's leave a little bit of a tomato sauce here. For old, uh, what's his face? Good. Now, there's some more food down there, buddy. Go get it, Rory. And no, look, bread! Just for you! And look! Ham! Oh, isn't that great? And look, mashed potatoes, and some more bread down there, a little bit of ham. Good. And... Wow, wow, wee, wow, what is happening? Love is in the air tonight. A herring? And a watermelon? Right there. Go get him, tiger. Love is in the hair. 
Nice. May the soil under your feet stay ever Great, thank you. That was awesome. Cuddles for days. Fantastic. Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad that worked out for you, lovebirds. All right, before we go though, um, actually, I just realized that there is something that we can probably access down there. Let's Phoenix dive on over. Bridge house cellar. Oh, that's the bridge house. Right. Right, right, right. That's the um, place where we need to go to... Um, no, 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 no. Don't go up there yet. That's a place where we need to go to uh, lower the bridge, I'm assuming. Right. Because I think that area was locked. Although we might have actually... We might have actually picked something up from uh, Riker's dead-ass body that could have uh, unlocked this place. Okay, What's I don't this? know what that does. I found something. Got another thing. And some more puffballs. And what appears to be yet another switch. Well, I'm assuming that we need to have everyone um, stand on these things. Uh, Sabil, why don't you go on top of that? Losa, you can go up on top of that one. And Fabrosi will be here to... Yay! Okay, uh, what happens if you step off it? It closes immediately. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, we could try to just bust the uh, fucking door down. Let's get the painting of the landscape. Anything in this display case? Nothing. Unbelievable. Sacks of grain? Nothing? Potatoes. All over the floor. Oh shit, we can get ourselves some potatoes. And an empty grenade! Next to the food- Oh fucking pizza. I love it. Oh my god, it's like a dream come true. You open up a whisker basket and what, what's in there? Not a mug of beer, not a glass of water, but some fucking uh, pizza. Holy shit, now I want pizza. Again. But when don't I want pizza? Bottle of wine. Cup of tea, sure, we'll take that and add that to our wares. Actually, we'll take all this shit and fucking add it all to our wares. Ruby, get out of here. Um, what was it, consumables? Bottle of wine, mug of blood. Rosie, I know that it's not good for you, but eat the pizza. Add a boy, buddy. Add a fucking boy. Nursery rhymes. Nope, useless. What's in there? Not the beer barrel, I'm talking about the crate. Locked. How fucking dare you. We could bash it open. But I do wonder if maybe there's a uh, key or a switch or something that we can activate to, to unlock that. Now, how the hell are we supposed to get out of here once we uh, get off the switches? Is there a way? Hmm. Well, um... What we could try to do is target group is too far away. Fine. Oh, Los is too far away. I see. Oh no, she's not. Okay. Well, um. Hmm. Why don't you guys use that to get over to Fabrosi? Good. Now we could just try to destroy the door, but I think what we'll try to do is instead. Maybe go upstairs and find the key? And who are you? Oh, oh. Line, no time. Hurry on in and gear up. There's a void woken right out the front door. Um, tell her to stay here and lay low, you'll take care of them. Say you met her son on the other side of the bridge, he asked you to help her. Barin? He's still out there? Damn it, I told him to go back into town. We gotta do this fast. Let's get those bugs out of here. You in? Um, tell her to stand down and leave the battle to you. These beasts are dangerous. Yep, stand down. She snorts and tosses a grenade from palm to palm with ease. I could turn an anthill into a crater from a quarter of a mile off. With both of us geared to the teeth, we'll make short work of these beasties. You ready or not? Well, I don't really want to have to watch your back, Mary Pruitt. Um, so how about you just stand down? I'm retired divine order, you know. I ain't scared of a fight. 
You step out that door, I'm coming after you. You'd be glad I do. You can hang your hat on that. Ah, jeez. Oh, here for every kind of bomb, grenade, missile, and shell you can imagine. Make what you want, and then let's go. I've got a boy to get back to. All right, fine. Um, but we'll do that in the next. Whoa, holy crap! That's a lot of uh. Nice. Them's a lot of fucking grenades and shit. Holy crap. But you know what? We'll do all this stuff in the next episode. Um, because right now we just don't really have the time for it. All right. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.